Hi there, it's uh, Simon from Made With Mice once again uh, with a support video for the Clean Sci-Fi Modular Rooms and Corridors Asset Pack, Unity Store Asset Pack, and uh, this time I'm just going to run through why uh, I favour um, light map baking rather than real-time lights and why it's a good idea. Uh, essentially I've got um, a very simple room made up from prefabs available in the pack and I've got a scene view and a game view as you can see here and I've turned on stats this is incidentally uh, Unity free version 4.3 um, and uh, in the stats as you can see you know it's um, there's not many graph not much going on in here so it's a very high frames per second anyway but just to, to highlight the draw calls uh, here and there's uh, it's pushing a thousand None saved by batching here, but uh, yeah, it's you know it's fairly high. And draw calls usually um, it's not always the case. It depends on the on the platform and so on and so forth. But usually it's something you want to keep down to a minimum. Really, draw calls. So this is quite high because of all the lights in the scene for one thing, and of course the amount of materials. So there's a few materials going on. There's one for the floor, one for the ceiling, one for the ribs in the corridor, another one for the emissive parts in the ribs and there's another one for all different panels the ceiling in the corridor and so on and so forth the door the window it goes on and on and you know for each one of those materials on each mesh uh, you get a draw call not only that for each light you get a draw call so a mesh that's illuminated by four lights gets its you know draw calls multiplied by those four so as few lights as possible is good but of course, this is sci-fi, and there's lights all over the place. Well, I've mitigated that a bit by, you know, uh, including these emissive blue patches for the the little blue panels in here. That's that's kind of for free. That's in in the texture. Well, not completely free, but you know what I mean. It's not, you know, uh, a light as such, so it won't have that kind of performance. It. But the rest you are going to have to illuminate somehow, so you can have real-time lights and take the hit with draw calls, or you can bake and do something about it. I'm going to bake, and let's see uh, the difference. I hope there will be one. Uh, so, light mapping, this is what you get. Um, I believe these are the default settings. Uh, I think if you're using Unity 4.3, uh, I haven't investigated 5 enough to comment properly on it, but I do recommend getting light mapping extended from the Asset Store, which is free, uh, and uh, you will get Essentially what this is, is a, a friendlier way of um, producing an XML file that Beast, which is the program that produces, that bakes the light maps for Unity, um, you know, uses in order to tweak all the settings. So let's click on that and it makes uh, a file in a folder that is the same name as the scene that you have and that will be produced in your asset hierarchy. <clears throat> now there's lots and lots of different settings here. I'm going to keep them pretty much default. Over here on light mapping, I think we're going to just change this to single light maps. Uh, no ambient occlusion. There's quite a performance hit if you turn that on. Um, and uh, it's already gone custom over here. Global illumination. Crucially, crucially, beg your pardon. I'm going to turn that off. Reason being is that with on, it does look nicer. Um, but you get much longer baking times. It's down to you, really. If you have the time, then by all means turn it on and, you know, go and do something else while it's baking. Uh, you know, if you're very big level, it's going to take you a while. Anyway, settings, uh, keep it as this, pretty much, I think. Maybe build a bit of padding in here just for luck. I'm not too concerned about the amount of maps it's going to be producing. Um, check out my demo level for the settings I've used um, there. Anyway, um, so here we go, ready for a bake. Now all the lights in the, in the prefabs are, are ready to go. Oh, yes, the other thing I do as well, because I've turned off global illumination, you need to throw some ambient light into the scene. This is the default setting because it was a new scene I, I used, but I've got a saved color here. I'll just boost that up a bit and just push it towards blue slightly. You see it brightened over here. Uh, and I just realized that the, that this, when I clicked on this, <laughs> I was changing something off screen. Uh, it was it was down here and then what I did was I clicked on there and there's my presets. So there you go. Sorry about that. Forgot I have two monitors and some things you can't see. There you go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, ambient light. I may 
nice to reset it. Uh, it just brightens it a little bit in here in real time. Still looks pretty gloomy, but let's bake the scene and see what happens. Hopefully this won't take too long. It is a very, very short scene. Um, so as it says there, exporting to Beast, bottom right hand corner, you get this um, sort of progress bar and it's doing it pretty quickly. Um, if you had global illumination on, we'd still be waiting uh, with the bar back here somewhere and it does about five different passes for, for that kind of thing. But here we go. I didn't need to do much fill chatting over the top of that, top of that. And um, this is the result. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see if we play. Let's go maximize on play. Oh, that's good. In this had to, I was getting worried there for a second, but because down here previously, and let's see if I turn that off and then click on that. Here we go. You need to kind of click a button in order for these to refresh or actually play it. Um, essentially, draw calls we had, as I said before, pushing a thousand with, you know, just turned off the light maps, which of course turns on all the real time lights. Draw calls up to 989. Uh, but, you know, calculate the lighting, pre calculate the lighting with your light maps. And then, so you just need to click that in order to make it refresh. That goes away. It's down to almost a quarter of what, what it was before. So can be big savings, really. Um, do we get any more information if I make it big? Let's have a quick experiment. Still very, very healthy uh, rate. Uh, obviously, I haven't gone first person here, but... Uh, and, you know, there are the things to be saved with uh, batching as well further down the line. I uh, won't cover that here, but yeah, there you go. Much better looking level, uh, even lighting. Um, this still looks pretty bright. You'd need to take uh, ambient light down to down to black again so that these things, these guys don't look too over bright. But yeah, it looks like a proper sci-fi level and big performance gain. That is why I prefer to use uh, light maps rather than real-time lighting. So um, sorry if I'm rambling a little bit, but hopefully that demonstration is fairly straightforward and uh, and help some of you so thanks very much for watching